Mikey, could you really, when it boils down to it, see yourself fighting at welterweight, considering, I think you said at 140, you're at a disadvantage because those guys are big. So why, why could you see yourself fighting at welterweight next, and especially someone like Errol Spence, who is probably one of the bigger, powerful welterweights? I'm telling you, I, I'm here to take the biggest fight, the biggest challenges, and that's why I'm willing to move up to welterweight. I'm very serious when I say that I will be at welterweight very soon. I really look forward to taking on someone like Errol Spence for that reason, because, because everybody says, don't do it. It's the biggest threat, the biggest challenge. I'm way out of my league trying to go there. Well, that's what actually excites me and motivates me the most. I want to prove everybody the kind of fighter that I am. And I, I haven't had those opportunities yet. I've been fighting, you know, champions and undefeated champions, but it seems like I'm always the favorite. It seems like my accomplishments uh, don't get enough credit sometimes because well, you're supposed to win. You're supposed to beat that guy. But a fight with Errol Spence is a whole different league, and that's why I, I'm really interested in, in getting that fight. We'll wrap it up with this. Same question to both of you. Let's start with you, Mikey. First time for you, Fagging, here in seven years. Back home, what should we expect Saturday night? This Saturday will be a great night of boxing, a great fight. Estaré peleando aquí por primera vez en siete años. Que es bonito regresar aquí a casa, sentir el apoyo de mi, todo mi público. Todo aquel que no ha podido ir a mirarme a, a mis otras peleas en otros estados, ahora sí pueden venir y disfrutar aquí en vivo, aquí en Los Ángeles. Estoy muy contento, muy agradecido de que mi oponente aceptó venir aquí a Los Ángeles. Una gran pelea, en realidad dos campeones, dos invictos, vamos a pelear. No, no puedo estar más contento. Yo les garantizo que voy a dar todo de mí para salir con la victoria y salir triunfador el sábado por la noche. Well, I'm very happy to be here. It's been seven years since I last fought here and to be able to come back and give my local fans and people who support me an opportunity to see me live, you know, and not just a fight, but a world title unification match, you know, here at Staples Center is just a great thing. I'm very happy and thankful that Robert accepted the fight here in LA. I know other opponents would say no. I'm very happy to be able to give the fans this type of fight here at Staples. You know, um, now I'm coming back as a world champion and I get to unify the titles here in front of my home crowd, hometown. You know, I'm just, there's nothing better that I, you know, that I could ask for. This is it and I'm ready to do everything it takes to win. And I guarantee everybody I'm gonna do everything in my part to come out victorious and unified champion on Saturday night. And Robert, we'll end it with this. This place is kind of special to you too. Last time I looked, you made your professional debut in LA at Staples. Now you have the opportunity to unify. What should we expect Saturday? Oh yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, like I said before, you will get a lot of action a lot of excitement July 28th and uh, just expect the unexpected. <laughs> Before we face off the fighters, we're going to take a couple of questions from members of the media. A question for Robert. When you hear Mikey here talking about Errol Spence, yeah. what, do you, what are your thoughts? Uh, he's a fighter, you know, the fights that he wants, you know, you can't tell him what he doesn't want, you know what I'm saying? I mean, future fights that he wants. Uh, Keith Eidick from Lexington.com. I was wondering if Mikey and Robert could both answer what they remember from the Corrales-Castillo fight, you know, one of the best fights in boxing history. Well, I remember watching it and, you know, the, the ending was the most dramatic. You know, I was watching, I, I was a lot younger and I thought Castillo had that. You know, after dropping Corrales, and that, that was the, the victory right there. And, you know, if you blinked, you would have missed it. You know, Corrales stops Castillo, you know, and it was just, I think, the biggest, you know, moment, the biggest, most dramatic moment in boxing for that, for that time. And up until now, you know, it's, it's still one of the top. Robert, could you answer that as well? Yeah. 
Mr. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> me, Easter. <laughs> um, Chico, being one of my uh, favorite fighters, you know, um, you know, he was always a tough warrior, you know, sort of like myself, you know, gave up his height, you know, to uh, <laughs> go in there and battle. But uh, after being dropped, you know, he, you know, he comes back even stronger and finished fights. And uh, then you see him, he finished the fight and the ref stopped it and he was victorious. Just to put a footnote on that, by the way, do you know a number of teams from the NFL professional teams contacted Showtime after that fight because coaches wanted to show that ending in that fight to their teams to talk to, to, to those guys and motivate them about perseverance and how you can come back from off the mat. That just shows you the impact that that fight had. Guys, we appreciate it. It's time to face off the fighters.